Welcome back. Let's talk about sorting when it comes to specific languages. And I'm going to use JavaScript here. I'm going to be showing you different sorting algorithms that can be used with any type of data. It doesn't just have to be strings. It doesn't just have to be numbers. It can be any type of data. But I also want to show you why sometimes you want to be careful when it comes to sorting. And just don't trust that your built-in method in your own language sorts data correctly. Let me demonstrate this with JavaScript. Let's say we have another array here. And this array, we'll call it basket. And this basket will have, instead of letters, we'll have some numbers. We'll have 2, 65, 34, 2, 1, and let's say 7, and one more 8. Now, we saw that when we sorted the letters, everything looked good. What happens if I sort the basket here of numbers? What do you think will happen? And I encourage you to try this with your own language as well and see what kind of results you get. Let me click Run here. That's the result. Is that what you expected? That doesn't look sorted, does it? Now, this is a silly example, but it's important to demonstrate that when it comes to sorting, you want to make sure if you're not implementing it, you know how it works. For example, when it comes to JavaScript, the way it sorts numbers is that it actually converts them to string. At least that's how the sort method works. So what happens underneath the hood is instead of just comparing numbers, it does something along the lines of if it gets to 65, 65, and then it's going to grab the character code in the first index. So we can use the method char, char code at and give it zero. So it's going to measure the character code at 65. If I run this, I get 54. Now, 54 is Unicode. And if I go to Unicode table, this is how characters are encoded in our computers. Now, if I go to six, I see that, yep, we see when we hover over that, it says the HTML code for it is 54. The character representation is 54. So that's what's happening here. If I do, let's say two here, and we'll do one more 34. And let's just console.log these so we know what's happening. And I click run. We see that 2 is 50, 65 or 6 is 54, and 34 is 51. But if I do something like 7, it's going to grab the number and it's going to be 55. So a lot of people get confused when they use a sort method like this and they don't get the response that they wanted. And that's why it's good to read the documentation of whatever you're using, such as a sort method, and understand how it works in a language. And to add even more confusion, you see here that the time and space complexity of sort cannot be guaranteed as it is implementation dependent. Remember, JavaScript has a standard called ECMAScript. A governing body suggests what it should look like. However, how you implement it is really dependent on different engines. So the Chrome browser would use a different JavaScript Im implementation than let's say Firefox or Safari. And what kind of sort algorithm they use underneath the hood is dependent on the browser. And that's something we're actually going to talk about later on in the videos. But to finish off this section about the weirdness of sorting, let me show you one more example. Let's say I have an array of Spanish words here. Unico, arbol, cosas, fútbol. And we want to sort these. What do you think will happen? Let me remove this and do this here. If I click run, I guess cosas, fútbol, arbol, unico. Again, because of the Unicode characters, the A with the accent on it is not the actual A that would come before something like C, as you can see here. So in this case, to solve this problem, we would have to do something along the lines of creating a function inside of sort that takes A and B, which is the first and second item, and it's going to return A plus locale compare B, which allows us to compare these even if there were different languages. So if I run this, you see that it's now fixed and everything is working. And again, locale compare is something that you can check out and I will link to over here. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is not because we want to become JavaScript experts. Well, everybody has their own language, but to show you that there's many ways that we can sort things. And even with small little differences like this one, there's a lot of considerations that need to be had. And underneath, 
this sort method is actually one of the algorithms that we're going to learn about in this course. And I also recommend you checking out the MDM page, which I'll link to, that shows you how you can compare different things such as numbers, such as objects and items in an object using the sort method. You see, in order to sort this properly, we'd have to do something like this, where we have a function inside of the sort method that will take A and B, which is the first and second item, and we'll simply say return A minus B. And if we run this, we see that our numbers are now sorted. But that's enough for now. Let's talk about the sorting algorithms that are being used in computer science in the next video. I'll see you in that one. Bye-bye. Yeah, 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 yeah